What is up YouTube, it is a Spartan here with you guys, and today we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to build a automatic chicken farm. Now this isn't like a chicken farm that I've even heard of yet you guys, which is why I wanted to make it. Um, this produces chickens whether you're there or not, because chickens always lay eggs you guys, meaning this will always work. Um, it's not like a chicken farm where, you know, the chickens lay the eggs and then you have to go in the chest and grab the eggs. No, it's a lot easier and you even have to throw the eggs for the chickens to be produced. So you guys, I'm very excited about showing you guys this and I'll be right back with the tutorial. Don't go anywhere. Alrighty you guys, so this is how we are going to want our ground base to be. Um, you're going to want a four deep little area and at least two of the things on the bottom so half and half and then this top little area is going to just need to be covered by a little platform like this now how we're going to be doing this tutorial you guys is we are going to be doing just little sets of intervals or sections at a time so not a lot at a time so you guys can just go back to your minecraft and build whatever you guys need and then come right back and know where you guys are at so we will be right back and uh, i'll be showing you guys the next section don't go anywhere. Alrighty, you guys, we're back. So as you see, I just layered the whole entire ground with these uh, hoppers. Now you want to, you're going to want to make sure that each hopper is facing down. So if this was our, oh, whoops, if this was our ground floor, that would be the hopper, and it's just all facing down, as you guys will be able to see when we get under there. So you're not wanting, you are not going to want to destroy anything down here yet, but this last layer. This last layer, which is the opposite side of the dispensers, that's the layer that you guys are want, going to want to destroy. Now you can start off just by layering, putting all these, not layering, but putting all these just like this. And we're going to want to do this for every single one all the way over. So let's just slowly do this. Now you guys, you guys can make this however big you want. It does not matter. Um, again, as you guys can see, this is an enormous amount of hoppers, and I don't think you can really do this in Survivor, unless you are just really OP at mining, um, then congrats to you, but this is just not something that I can particularly really even do or think about doing, just it's so much. So this is going to be the last layer that we can do that is parallel to one another. So once you have all of that, you guys, you are going to want to make sure that these two and the middle ones are different. So the ones going directly to the dispenser all have to be different. So we're going to see how this works in just a second, you guys. So we can, we're going to go like this, you guys. You want to make sure that this one goes just one more over. It's going to need to go down one. And then you're going to have to replace this dispenser just for the moment with a grass block just to set it just like that. Now we're gonna keep it like that just to hook up every single one that needs to go to it and uh, just for this little moment. Alrighty, so what we're gonna wanna do is we're going to need this to go directly down so now as you can see those two are pointing directly to it and just setting it just like that you guys. So really basic structure, it's just like plumbing to a house, all waterways need to lead to one area. Um, very simple everybody. Just, uh, it helps if somebody, of course, just points it out to you guys. Um, so now, once we have this, this is, like I said, oh my god, I can't even get up. Um, this is exactly like the other side. So these two will be parallel. Just do like that, and voila. So now you see all these three are pointed to the dispenser. I want the dispenser pointing up to shoot the egg, which you guys will see in a little bit. And that is exactly how it works, you guys. So I will do the rest off camera. Um... But it's very simple, you guys. Very basic structure. And if we want to make sure it works um, correctly, we have three different blocks, which we can all throw down. I'm not sure which one that went in. But we threw all three different blocks down, and all three are in here, just like that, you guys. So now that we know it works, we can move on to the next step, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, you guys. So we are back. And now what you are going to want to do is create a nice little area. Um... You're at least going to need this little section, a 3x3 three three in the back. Um, relative space behind it doesn't really matter if you're really that cramped on space. I mean, you can make this work. Um, but this is just some simple redstoning, you guys. So we're going to want to place a, one redstone um, right behind each one of the dispensers. And then a repeater behind each one. Now, each repeater needs to be connected like so. Very simple, like I've said, you guys. And now here's where your 3x3 three three comes in. You're going to want a detector rail leading right off to that redstone. And then where your turns are going to be, you're going to want just some normal rails. And for the power, you are going to want powered rails. 
Now, all you need is a redstone torch, a minecart, push it along the long, and it just powers itself. So now you got your just simple redstone repeater action um, to set off the eggs whenever they just get shot in automatically. Um, this doesn't make any lag, you guys. Very simple and uh, very easy. Now, what you just can do is just, oops, you can just cover it up, you guys. Of course, you don't want a farm that looks really high tech. You just want it old fashioned. Um, I do have to admit some dispensers in the ground are gonna look a little funny when some chickens are running over them But again, you guys this works great. Um, and here we go So we just want to cover it up you guys and then there is one last step I know it looks done and everything, but there is actually one last step. Oh, whoopsie you forgot to do this You gotta leave the spaces. All right So again, you guys there is one last step because when the eggs get shot up you guys um, what's gonna hold them in and it's a little bit difficult to make the chickens not fall back down into there where the dispensers really don't work anymore. So I'll be right back with you guys after this little bit. And uh, you guys get this copied all down. This really just basic setup of redstone. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty you guys, we're back. So this may be a little bit overwhelming. Um, but this is the basic structure that you guys are going to want to build. Um, I'm very sorry for this part. You really didn't need this hopper right here. Um, so I did make you waste three hoppers, but hopefully you caught it in time so you didn't have to make an extra one. Um, but what you're going to want to do, <laughs> I keep saying that, I find it a little bit funny, is you're going to want to surround your whole entire hopper area with fences. Now, the back end needs to be exactly like this, you guys. Um, if you need like a closer picture or something, um, just, it needs to be, every single block is, has a fence on it surrounding a hopper if that makes sense you guys so there's a little grass block there's a hopper and needs to be a fence 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 so and then you need to have all these just building up now the design with all the cobble or the uh, stone and everything you guys don't need to do that you guys can make your own design just what you do need to make sure is that these eggs end up flying up through the water up here and hitting these fences now the point of the fences is so the egg because when dispensers shoot eggs they go wild that this keeps the eggs in the relative, like a relative area and doesn't allow them to go anywhere. And they usually hit the fence or all the time hit the fence, I should say. Now what the water is for, you guys, is it doesn't necessarily need to be there. But when the chickens spawn, they do tend to go back down the hole. And if they go down there, then they're not going to lay eggs over here for you. So what you're going to want to do is just make sure you guys that... Um, you have the water there and then you have places for them to even go off of so even another step for them to sit is nice because even once there's so many chickens they get piled up here they'll start knocking each other off and then they are in your grasp where you can where you can control them so you guys this is my basic tutorial on how this works I'll show you guys a little fast forward motion of uh, this little chicken farm working um, this is kind of what I was talking about also is it does kind of look a little bit diff like just different I don't think if you had like a little cow farm over there and then you had this weird like just looking building kind of thing um it just looks a little odd so you kind of want to dazzle it up like I put the fences up here um just put your own little pizzazz into it if you even want to make it a building you guys are putting it put it in your house it works perfectly because nobody really sees like the redstone flashing or anything like that from the outside so uh you guys I want to thank you guys for watching um uh, if you liked hit that like button uh, I'll be doing a lot more tutorials for you guys with uh, all the new updates and everything. So I'll be keeping you guys updated. Um, make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Hey, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial as much as I did. It was really fun to do. It was uh, informative and all. But uh, that's not why I'm here. I am here to tell you guys about my very own server that I'm making with Jumbo Pablo, BC Epic Win, and Bronami. Um, that server will be coming out in about a month. I'm really hoping you guys stay in touch with that because we are looking for staff right now. And that means you guys, the subscribers. So we're definitely looking forward to that. And even if you are not a staff member, you don't get that position. Um, all subscribers will be receiving a special kit that no, no other player gets. So uh, make sure you stay in touch with that, you guys. Um, very likely that you guys will be able to become staff. And uh, looking forward to that whole entire ordeal. Um, again, I want to thank you guys for watching, and remember, rate, comment, subscribe. Later.